All right. I will say we'll ask one thing about uh, Saturday night uh, after the game. Do you think uh, a Michigan State had the correct response uh, with suspending four and then another four making it eight? And can they recover to actually win a couple of football games and maybe even three to get bowl eligible? I don't know about three. Uh, yeah, they could recover to win a couple. I mean, obviously, Jacoby Winman uh, yes. is will be a big loss, but. I think and there was a couple, but I think most of them were were bit players or bench players. Not that that matters going forward. So I suppose. And um, uh, what was your first question? They handled it correctly. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. And I know some people are uh, complaining. Oh, it's four one day and four the next. Why are you dragging it out? And now it becomes a five day story. I don't think they have much of a choice no. because videos are becoming available you know, over time, and there's probably more out there, like the security camera uh, videos from the tunnel that that I believe the Ann Arbor police have and aren't releasing. So it, I don't think that Mel Tucker has a choice, and I, and I do think he gets uh, merits or marks for reacting swiftly and not, not doing what uh, some other people are doing, not alibying or what about him, as far as I know. Now, maybe... Others are, and he just can't do it publicly. But, um, but yeah, no, I think the response has been, has been good from him, for sure. Uh, let's talk about yesterday uh, and oh, the NF- NFL trade deadline. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you approve, disapprove? Uh, yes. <laughs> um, no, no. You're going to think this is uh, waffling, but it's not. If you if you remove the situation, the seventy years, the are these guys do these guys know what to do? If you remove all of that and just look at what they did, trading a tight end who has not performed to his draft level is going to be due in his mind a huge contract after next season has been modestly productive, actually probably better than modestly, but but still, and you get all that cap space then I say, well, yeah, of course, any normal team would do that probably when they're out of contention. With the Lions, we always have the caveat because it comes down to this, and you guys answer it too. It is, a, in my mind, the right move and even a very good move only if you trust Brad Holmes mm-hmm. because you're giving him higher picks and you're giving him more cap space. If you trust that he will use that well, then it's a great move. I don't think we can say we can trust that as far as cap space and second round picks. Correct. So, I don't know. That's that. That's exactly the way I feel. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what a, a normal GM or any GM would do. Okay, do we trust him? And I don't think that's been answered yet. Does well, it- I think we can. I, I like his two drafts. Now, we can argue the second round picks. We still yeah, have right. yet to see Josh Paschal and be able to cast judgment. I, I know we've got two games, but we need to see more before we can cast judgment on that. But in regards to, you know, do we trust him with the extra cap room? We don't really know, and he hasn't been in position. I know he could have spent some more this year. I was fine with the process. This is the year where I need to see, and he's going to de- determine, you know, like what type of GM he's going to be. He's going to have to spend this year. No, and that's fair because they didn't do much. They kept their own guys, which was that by choice, overwhelming choice, or was that by lack of other options? I mean, I, I'm not going to kill him for – you know, DJ Shark for one year, or what was it, Tyrell Williams, who did nothing. Rashard um, Perriman. Rashard Perriman. Um, I understand, understand that they needed receivers. There weren't that many available. They didn't have many on their own roster to resign. So I get that. So I think you're right, John. This will be obviously a huge offseason for Brad Holmes. And let's also say this. it's not, We're not done judging Dan Campbell the no. rest of the season. He doesn't get to go, okay, they're rebuilding again or over-rebuilding or re-tearing down. Um, Yes, this will be an interesting measure of his wins and losses. Not totally judged on that, but need a couple more, right? Yeah. Maybe, for Mm -hmm. sure. Yes. What do you think of the, not that it makes that much of a difference, the first uh, rankings that came out yesterday? 
Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah. And actually, actually, um, some people were, I don't think people are pissed off. I think no. some people were surprised that Michigan was fifth. And actually, I don't mind it at all because there should be, whether it's their fault or not, there should be some response or repercussion to having such a weak schedule. And they didn't know the Big Ten was going to be so weak, so that's not on them. But they knew they're not in conference. Um, and that's, but that punishment won't hold if they went out. So right. that's the thing, if they beat Ohio State. But it will hold, say, if them and Ohio State both went out and Ohio State wins a close game in the finale. And you wonder, could Michigan still get in? I think the schedule will be held against them then. And and I'm not. And As I it should. Probably fair. Yeah, I agree. It, well, Once. It, 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 it all depends on who they're going to be compared to at that time. Right. You know, I mean, and, and I mean, there's so much football to be played. Right. And if you're upset, if if you haven't learned by this time, after the amount of of examples that we have of seeing the week one college football playoff committee saying, here's our top four. And anybody else is left out. Like if you haven't learned your lesson by now that number five, you're just as much in the game as any of those four, even if the other four, now it's impossible for five and what two or three to to win out because they play each other. But even if you were to say everybody won out, it doesn't mean you're out of it. We've seen teams even after wins get jumped because of a big win over, like, say, Michigan over Ohio right. State. And if Clemson is still there, I would expect that Michigan would jump over right. Clemson at that point. I, I, I agree. I mean, Clemson has not been that impressive. No. They're, a, what, a three-point favorite at Notre Dame. And I know Notre Dame has played better of late. But I like in the early stages, and whatever, the playoff polls, whatever, they don't mean anything until the end. But in the early stages, I do enjoy that they kind of get granular. Like, they really – even though they know they can't carry it. But they do. Uh, Clemson, I think, is being punished to a certain degree for almost losing at Missouri and having a couple of other close You games. mean Georgia? Georgia. Georgia. I'm sorry, Georgia. Right. And, and, and Georgia is what, third? Yes. Or third. Yeah. So and a lot of people thought Georgia would be number one in that Missouri game. You know, it was alarming for sure. That's fine. But by the end, if they went, they won't be punished for that at all. Nor should they if they went out. But right now, I think it's just about, I don't know, like I said, the granule level, all these little things. And Michigan's schedule certainly is getting um, uh, picked apart, as it should. So it'll all shake out, though. I'm not going to cry, okay, over spilled it. By the way, worst smell ever, sour milk. Oh, that, that, you're right. That is yeah. a bad one. No, no. doubt about yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't oh, know yeah. if I asked you this uh, last week or the week before, but I'll phrase it differently if I did. Of our professional sports teams in Detroit, which team – plays the best defense well honestly Sony, and, and, and god bless you you did ask me the last time which team plays the worst oh defense. i did so, okay yes I did. so this is different yeah um, <laughs> uh, sorry we're going to compare answers to see if you're waffling <laughs> yeah it, it is was, election god. season um <laughs> none of them uh, you, you can't say the lines you can't say the pistons you can't say the t- Red Wings. I don't know. They gave they gave yeah. up six to Buffalo. They gave up five to. Uh, I know, but they've also had a few. Like, I know two Saturday two one. I get, yeah. Yeah. By, by default. Look, you're. I mean, who would you say you're asking me an impossible question? Who? I would. Uh, I would say the wings. I, I would. Pro- I would. Probably, <laughs> I, I would say the wings probably, but not by much. Not by much. You know what? Some people would say, even though they're wrong, some people would say by default the Tigers oh. uh, because some of their statistically and like Jonathan and Scope and yeah, the Gold Glove mix, we yeah. just blame. I'm not buying any of that. Hey, right, Roger, do you have Phillies fever? Oh, Sony, did you watch the game, your Phillies, last he night? He didn't. I Can didn't watch a lot that? of it because I had a commitment of playing uh, in a couples pickleball league. So I missed oh, the I missed God. like the first five innings, which was all the excitement had. But I did see it on the I DVR'd it. So yeah. God, I Sony, I apologize. I missed your seventy eighth birthday. Huh. Hey now. <laughs> hey now. You're you watching the game for your fighting Phils 
uh, playing a little pickleball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, he's looking for a stand in and he couldn't get a hold of you. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that That's, I know everybody loves pickleball. Yeah. Know, I've never played it at all. But you are rooting for the Phillies, right? Of course. Well, why would I root for Houston? Justin Verlander? Now, real quick, are people t- taking a little bit of delight in Verlander's continued World Series collapses? I'm sure there year? might be a couple people. I, 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 I'm just taking, hopeful. yeah, Rieger is, but other than that. I mean, he's oh, the only, yeah, it's Rieger. He's the only reason they're losing the series right now. Yeah. He blew a 5 nothing lead. His no, world, his world, have... his World Series stats are just so unbelievably bad because it's crazy because he's so dominant in the ALDS or the, or the, the DSs and the <laughs> CSs. It's unbelievable, really, going back to the first game with the Tigers against the Giants in the World Series when uh, well, Kung, Kung Fu Panda, whatever. Well, even uh, e- even before that, in 2006, when he was a really young pitcher, he didn't do much in the World Series. I have a theory, by the way, real quick. My theory is, and it goes back to when he started the world, the uh, All Star Game. When he is on that stage, he wants to yep. show off almost, and 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 I think just throw. You know, I haven't analyzed the pitches, but uh, you know, no matter how hard you throw, it's easier to hit a straight fastball than a combination of a bunch of different pitches. So yep. that's my uh, dime store theory, right there. All right. Mm-hmm. Woj, thanks as always. We'll talk to you next week, and I'll see you soon.